In this example, we want to find the integral of 1 over 1 plus the square root of 3x. Okay, so we're going to let u be equal to the denominator of this function, which is 1 plus square root of 3x. Okay. So then, okay, if we proceed on to use the uh, typical u substitution for integrals, um, it's not going to work in this case, okay, because, and you'll see why in a minute. So if we take the derivative of u with respect to x, okay, so this is just, remember, this is just the same as 1 plus 3x to the 1 half power. Okay, so if we take the derivative of u with respect to x, okay, we're going to get 1 half times 3x to the negative 1 half times 3, and that's the same as, okay, 3 over 2 times 3x to the 1 half power, okay, or we can write it as square root of 3x, okay. So we don't have this expression uh, in our original function, okay, because we're letting u be the denominator, so um, so we don't have anything else to work with. Okay, so this approach won't work, okay? All right. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to go back to our original u substitution, and from there, um, go ahead and solve for x, and then we can take the derivative of that with respect to x. Okay, so, so going back to here, okay, we're going to solve for x. Okay, so we have the square root of 3x equals to u minus 1. And we can square both sides, so that's going to give us 3x equals to u minus 1 squared. Okay, and then dividing both sides by 3, we get 1 third times u minus 1 squared. Okay, all right, so let's go back to the integral. We have the integral of 1 over u, okay, and so now we have dx here. Okay, so we have to convert this in terms of u. So we can do that now. Uh, we can take the derivative, right? We can take the derivative of our function down here, okay, with respect to x. Okay, so we have dx. And then over here, take the derivative with respect to u. So we're going to have 2 thirds times u minus 1 du, okay? So dx is going to get replaced by 2 thirds times u minus 1 du. Okay, so we have 1 over u times 2 thirds. times u minus 1 du. Okay, so this is the same as 2 thirds times the integral of 1 over u times u minus 1 du. Okay, okay so we can simplify this. This is going to give us 2 thirds times the integral of I'm going to distribute 1 over u, so we get the integral of du, okay, minus 1 over u. So we can write this as, so I'll just put a 1 here, so, okay, so 1 over u is 1 minus 1 over u du. So I'll put the du on the outside. Okay, so from here, uh, this is going to be equal to 2 thirds times the integral of du minus 2 thirds times the integral of 1 over u du. Okay, so taking the integral of this, we have 2 thirds times u minus 2 thirds times the natural log of u. Okay, so the integral of 1 over u is natural log of u, and we put absolute values around that, okay, around the argument of natural log. Okay, so now we just replace u with 1 plus square root of 3x, okay. Okay, so we have 
2 thirds times 1 plus the square root of 3x minus 2 thirds times the natural log of the absolute value of 1 plus the square root of 3x. Okay, plus some constant. Okay, so this uh, we can we don't need the absolute round uh, absolute values around the natural log because one plus square root of three x is always going to be uh, positive. So we can rewrite this as two thirds times one plus the square root three x minus two thirds times the natural log of one plus square root of three x plus c. Okay, so this is the uh, solution for our integral okay. okay so we did this by we letting u be the denominator we tried to we took the derivative of u with respect to x and so that didn't work okay because that function that piece didn't appear anywhere else in our function in our original function so then we have to go back and solve for x from u and then that's and then taking the derivative of that uh, we get the replacement for dx in terms of u, okay, and that's where you, that's where this was used, okay, and then from there we take the integral, and then we replace x, or I'm sorry, replace u with one plus square root three x, and got our result, okay.